Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspies. Look at this. We did it. 1617 Upper Deck SP Authentic 8 Box Intercase Break number 19 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to everybody who got into this action right here on a Wednesday the 6th. Alright, everyone. Moody with that last spot mojo grabbing the maple leaves. And at the end of the break, we're going to be giving away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 25th anniversary upper deck packs. Rare autographs in there. So I'll randomize everybody's names. And then the top 10 on the randomizer will get one pack each. All right. Good luck, everybody. This is our last break of the night. Anything else that fills, we'll, we'll just move till tomorrow. But thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Feel free to hang out and watch the break. If you're not familiar with hockey, then you can definitely, you can definitely watch and learn. If you are familiar with hockey, this will be a fun break to watch. All right, there you go. Two autographs per box and one autograph future watch rookie card per box on average. So there you go. Moody obviously looking for that guy. Now, I'm not, as most of you know, I enjoy hockey, I just don't know too many of the more current players, so if there's some, uh, there are some names I butcher, <laughs> I apologize beforehand. And some of you uh, more ex knowledgeable hockey folks will have to, uh, will have to let me know if any of the hits that I pulled or any of the inserts that I see are, uh, are big hits or not. Let me know. So obviously, I'll, I'll know like the Austin Matthewses and the Lionnays and the and the McConners, Connor, Connors, McConners, Connor, Connors of the world, McDavid's of the world. But some of the some of the other ones they may not be super familiar with. So I will appreciate the help beforehand. And folks, this, filling up this break also helps us get us one step closer to uh, giving away an Austin Matthews autograph jersey. So there's one more break we need to do, and that's on jazbeeshockeyland.com. Uh, Jonah, no. This will be the last break of the night. So we'll kind of breeze through these. Silver Skates, Mitch Marner. We'll s There's a ton of these blank cards, I remember. Nice. I'm sure that Connor McDavid still has like some value there too, right? I would not be surprised if that's, if that's the case. No, Dave Barrett. This this is a this is about a 40 45 minute break. So, now after this, we'll be past quitting time. If you wanted to break, should have filled up should have filled it up before people got involved in this hockey. First to fill, first to break. Authentic moments. Nice sil silver skates, Connor McDavid. For the Oilers, who has the Oilers in this break? That'll be Brian, Brian Matoy. Jimmy Vesey, silver skates. And then we got Brandon Peary. Slide these over here.
So there are a bunch of rarity tiers. How can I? How how will I be able to tell? Shea Weber and Matt Murray. I, I did not see the SNL skit with Chance the Rapper as a ringside analyst. <laughs> really? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Josh Morrissey. Young Guns. Jake Gunzel. I like those Young Guns cards. Nikolai Ellers, Spectrum, is your autograph. Nice one for the Jets. That was a late pickup by Derek. And there's Jimmy Vesey, another autograph. This one's 379 out of 999. Future Watch. That goes to the New York Rangers. And that'll be for Thomas Olson with the Rangers. Uh, Michael Math uh, Matheson is your Future Watch auto for the Florida Panthers. That'll be out of 999. Josh Filo. Jonathan Quick for my Kings. Nice. And that's box one. And that Young Guns goes to the uh, Penguins. That'll be for Montgomery. Next box. But no, now now I really now I really want to see Chance the Rapper as a rinkside analyst. So he, Moody's saying he had challenges, problems with the names too. See, there you go. See, Chance the Rapper and I are pretty much in the same boat. more packs to go. All right, good luck everybody. Young Guns, Jakob Verna for the Capitals. Nice one for the Blue Jackets. Zetterberg. Who's my favorite hockey player? I don't know. Probably. Probably. Uh, there's Patrick Lyon. Uh, Wayne Gretzky. Kings edition of Wayne Gretzky. I know Luke Robitaille was always a favorite around here in LA.
Nick Ritchie, Great White North. Team Canada. Oh, I should have a checklist up. I forgot about these. Where does Nick Ritchie end up? He is a Anaheim Duck. So that autograph will go to uh, Ben McCloy with the Ducks. And there's Jake Gunsel. Uh, 90 out of 999 for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Montgomery with that one. Sonny Milano out of 999 for the Blue Jackets. That goes to Derek Slavic. Which are this auto? Curtis is saying this auto is one out of 1,076 packs. It's pretty nice. Johnny Goudreau. And there you have it. Oh yeah, the Great White North was the th was the first autograph in the other two. All right, next box. Oh, the Great White North one was one out of every 1,076 packs. The Spectrum ones can be numbered. Your Johnny Goudreau is not num Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. Probably sounded terrible. Uh, this one was not numbered, though. But there is that scratch-off thing in the back that you were talking about earlier. That's what they call him, right? Johnny Hockey, Curtis is saying. Curtis, who is your favorite hockey player? Curtis is from, from Calgary. I would imagine it would be some, some sort of flame. Growing up, it was uh, Jerome Ignila. Ig. Ignina? Inla? I don't know if I pronounced that right. But he also liked uh, Joe Sackick, Sackick a lot as well. There's a great a silver skates, Nylander for the Maple Leaves. It's Patrick Kane, 
Young Guns, Lucas Sedlick. Young Guns, Roman Luyubimov for the Flyers. Those Young Guns cards are pretty popular. It's Jonathan Taves. These uh, authentic moments, 53 out of 99. What happened here? Carrie, so what was Carey Price doing? Price shutout helps make Habs history. 25 save shutout? I feel like that's a lot. That's pretty good. There's your authentic moment. There's our autographs. I was like wondering where our autographs were. One for the Penguins out of 9.99. Tom Kuhn Hackle. Pinnacle. It's your first autograph. Oh, it's 25 low. And for Vancouver, for the Canucks, big boys, 007. David Harrell with Thatcher Demko. All right, there you have it. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Cruising along. So hockey folks, what are the uh, what are the big storylines of this season? Oh, that could be interesting. I feel like the uh, the Las Vegas Golden Knights for an expansion team has started off the season really well. I know the Kings have been playing pretty decently. But what are the big early season storylines in the hockey world? Let me know. I can gain some knowledge on this. Knowledge is power. All right, Joel Hanley, Young Guns. Pavel Zaka, Silver Skates. So Curtis saying Montreal and Edmonton not playing well. Sucking even, he says. Golden Knights doing well. There's Patrick Kane, Silver Skates. And uh, Kucherov and Stanko is going off for the Lightning. Yeah, I feel like early in the season, 
the Vegas Golden Knights had um, had like this home winning streak that was that was pretty strong. Dylan Strom, Silver Skates. Silver Skates, Austin Matthews. Nice. And wow, there it is. Limited auto materials for the Blues. Jaden Schwartz. Nice. Four color patch on card auto. 21 out of 50. That is strong. Who has St. Louis? Josh Filo. Josh Filo with the Blues. Nice. Kevin LeBlanc, out of nine ninety nine, future watch autograph for the San Jose Sharks, Montgomery. Nice. Next box. And Cruz saying nice patch. Curtis saying he's having a good year as well. Curtis also saying Flames had a goal scored on them the other night that went through a player's skate blade holder. Are you serious? How is that even possible? I feel like that that space is so narrow. What are the odds of that happening? I can't imagine that happening too often. It was super flu I have to imagine it was super fluky. Was the was the skate the skate that it went through, was it on the ice? Or was it like did the person have it up in the air? Like that would have been crazy if his leg was lifted off or his foot was lifted off the ice and it still went through that way. I mean, even then, I mean it's just It's like that that space is just so narrow. That's almost that's almost impossible. Were they using the extra thin pucks that day? Yeah, it would have been some voodoo magic if it was in the air, but it was on the ice. So the skate was on the ice, and it just it had just enough lift on it where it went. That's Wait, now I kind of want to see it. <laughs> Wait, find me a video of that, <laughs> Curtis. I want to see it. Cole Schneider, Young Guns for the Sabres. This is Kopitar. Authentic moments. Mikhail Sergachev. It's your silver skates. Dylan Larkin for the Red Wings. Sidney Crosby, silver skates. 
Do people like Sidney Crosby now, or pe do people still dislike him? I feel like Sidney Crosby fires up a lot of people one way or the other. Lundquist, Silver Skates. Future Watch, Brendan Perlini for the Coyotes. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to say that guy's name. Alex uh, Galchenyuk. I think that was close. More Connor McDavid. Where's our autographs? We should be seeing them soon. There's a, there it is. Justin Bailey. Uh, 394 out of 999 for the Buffalo Sabres. Sabres. Going to Kevin Lynch. There you go, Kevin. And uh, Jakob Chichirun uh, 449 out of 999. I can't say that name. Can't do that. Uh, that goes to the Coyotes, though. That's for Nino. Doesn't matter as long as I just pull you hits. It's all right. I could call all these hits Taylor Swift. Wouldn't matter as long as it's a strong autograph. All right, three boxes to go. We're getting close. Okay. So hold on. This is what I'm supposed to search. Before I open the next box. It's not going to load. His wrist shot went through the skate. <laughs> Mike Giordano and past Mike Smith. Oh, I barely saw that. They're going to slow it down. Show the replay. This is this must be impossible. I'll bet the guys in the TV booth were like, no way. Oh, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh, uh, that's ri that's ridiculous. But it went off of two. Crazy talk. All right, three boxes to go, folks. That, that was our highlight break in the middle of this break. Curtis saying, I feel like T Swift has never touched a hockey stick in her life. No, I'm sure she has. I'm sure she has. I feel like she's had to have some sort of promo event with like Nashville, with like the Nashville Predators and something. I feel like she has to have touched a hockey stick at least once. Some sort of hockey event in Nashville. I got, I have to think that had to have happened. Now I think recreationally, I don't think she has ever touched a hockey stick in her life recreationally as, a, as, as something not part of her job. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe we should ask Taylor Swift, Taylor, if you're watching, let us know, uh, let us know, Taylor at Jaspie's Hobbyland is our Twitter. Let us know if you have recreationally, uh, have ever picked up a hockey stick, I, I, e a ho touching a hockey stick that is not part of uh, your job is some sort of promotional event or something like that. So Taylor, please let us know at Jaspie's Hobbyland is our Twitter. Oh, she 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 has to. Kevin Crouch. Oh, I'm sure Jeanette McCurdy touched some hockey sticks. Hey oh, 
Um, Jeanette McCurdy probably I don't, know, I don't know where I don't actually don't know the the where where Jeanette McCurdy is from. Where 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 is she? Where's Jeanette McCurdy from? Is she from like a hockey kind of place? According to Wikipedia, no, she's from Long Beach. She has never touched a hockey stick. Maybe. She possibly has. I don't know. I mean, maybe a street hockey stick. You know, the kids will play a little roller hockey. Whoa. Look at this. Oilers Nation. Sign of the times. Leon Drasito. Edmonton. Where are you at? That goes to Brian Batoy. Nice. And Issa Lindell, future watch, out of nine ninety nine for the stars. That go I almost said Minnesota. That's how long it's been since I've consistently watched hockey. Dallas Stars, Ben. I've heard of this guy, Wayne Gretzky, Oilers edition. Young Guns for the uh, Ducks. Connor McDavid, Silver Skates, nice one. And with the date inscription right here, Brendan Perlini, 15 out of 9.99. I don't know why he did he is that the date you think he's the date he signed it? Maybe. But yeah, uh, going back to more important things like Jeanette McCurdy. If she, if she, Jeanette, if you're watching, at Jaspie's Hobbyland is our Twitter. Let us know um, hockey. How much hockey you have played in your lifetime? If you have ever picked up a hockey stick in your life, Jake Gunzel, Young Guns. We're thinking Taylor Swift. Jeanette has not. That's Mitch Marner, Silver Skates. We're thinking Taylor Swift has not. We're thinking you're in Southern California. You may have played some, uh, played some street hockey, maybe some rollerblades, some hockey sticks, and whatnot. Oh, that's a debut day. NHL debut day. That makes sense. So let us know at Jaspie's Hobbyland, Jeanette, if you're listening, if you're watching. I'm sure, I'm sure that you'll stumble upon this video at some point. Silver skates. Right. Oh, Todd, you're still up? He's like, I could, I could use some uh, Blackhawks ink. All right, well, we've got two boxes left, so we'll see. And we're giving away these right here, too. No, oh, that's already kind of open. So Mike Tower saying, I believe the first 50 were inscribed for those autos. Although there are one or two players that inscribed all of them for that run. Okay, I got you. All right, we're almost there, folks. We're making good time on this. Making very good time on this. Oh, look at this. Kevin Crouch, I just saw what you wrote a couple minutes ago. Uh, let's get a street hockey game going between Team Jeanette McCurdy versus Taylor Swift, winner facing Ariana Grande. Oh man, that would be a celebrity hockey tournament that I would I, that I would enjoy watching. Can you imagine Jeanette McCurdy versus Ariana Grande on the hockey, on the ice, on the rink? Can you imagine Jeanette McCurdy like saying, oh, I'm definitely gonna check that B into the boards? I think Jeanette McCurdy has to have like 
not not that Jeanette McCurdy is like super tall in any way, but I have to imagine that Jeanette McCurdy has has height, length, and and lbs lbs's on on Ariana Grande. Well, let's look it up. Jeanette McCurdy height weight. Jeanette McCurdy. No, she's not that small. That's Ariana Grande size. Jeanette McCurdy's five two, or for the metric people out there, 157 centimeters and 112 and a half pounds. So we'll just round up to 115 uh, or 51 kilograms. Ariana Grande height weight is, well, they, they have weight. So she's 105, no, yeah, she's gonna get destroyed by Jeanette McCurdy. Ariana Grande is five foot even, apparently, and 105 pounds. So Jeanette McCurdy has at least two or three inches on Ariana Grande. And that's just, that's just listed, folks. We all know from sports that, the, that, that they're, these players are usually smaller than their listed height and weight. You know what I mean? Clearly. So Ariana Grande, Jeanette McCurdy may be smaller than that, but Jeanette McCurdy has, I think, is, is more arm length. You know what I mean? So she might be able to put a good check, good cross check into Ariana Grande right into the boards. That would be pretty. That would be pretty crazy. I mean, there's salt between them. There's there's a little bad blood. To use a Taylor Swift reference, there's a bit of bad blood between them. It used to be mad love, but now it's bad blood or something like that. Anyway, back to the hockey. There's Tyler Mott. <laughs> at his 9.99 is probably the weirdest SP authentic break that we've ever done. Um, this is Pick Your Team 19, by the way, folks. Thanks for joining us. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Blackhawks. There you go. That's for Elena. Oh, there's more right here. Well, it's, it was sort of hockey-related, Kevin. We, we made it work, I think. It's Kyle Connor, Silver Skates. More Silver Skates. Nice Young Guns for the Oilers. I always like those Young Gun cards. I remember when the, the Connor McDavid Young Guns, when, they, when this first came out, would straight up go for like two hundred bucks, and now you, now you have to nowadays you have to have those graded, but to get that price, but you know the first week or two, you can just straight up sell those right out of the pack for two hundred dollars. It was insane. Nice, look at this. Nice, Aaron Ekblad. I've heard of this guy. Limited auto materials. Great patch, nice on-card auto. 45 out of 50. That is a strong one for Florida. Josh Filo with that. I like that. That is strong. The other one was pretty strong. The other one was, I think Josh Filo got both of those. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Filo had the Florida Panthers, and then he had the Blues. Doesn't have the Blues anymore. He's got those two patch autos. He's singing songs of joy. Not the Blues. See? Stay, <laughs> come for the break. Stay for the jokes. Silver skates. There's the ageless wonder. There's Patrick Kane, and this there he is right there, Curtis. This guy, Ig Inla, Ig Inla, one of Curtis's favorite players when he was uh, when he was young. 
There you go, courtesy. See that callback right there? Yeah, in NHL, correct. And that's right, Kevin Crouch. NHL, if you are watching, there is one good way to quash, to finally squash and quash the uh, Jeanette McCurdy Ariana Grande beef. It would be on the ice. And that's the that's the only way, only way to only way to put solve this issue once and for all. Allegedly, they're cool. But, uh, do you do we really believe that? Uh, even if they are cool, I'll have you know that Jasmine's Hobbyland will uh, will definitely keep that beef going for for mild comedic value until one day both Jeanette McCurdy and Ariana Grande will visit Jasmine's Hobbyland. They'll come right through those doors right there, and they'll be like, "Hey, stop perpetuating the notion that we are still having a beef," you know? And I'll be like, eh. "But it's kind of funny." And it's like, "Well, it's not because it was real for us." And I'll be like, "Yeah, but." That was before you guys came to the store. Now that I met you, now it's not going to be as funny anymore. Oh, man, imagine the jersey sales for their jersey. Yeah. I don't know. I think they have... I don't know. Don't they have... Uh... Oh, good call, Todd. Thank you. I got, I'll put this right in the foreground right here so I definitely don't forget. Um, the bonus packs. I think... Who's the... Uh, she was... This actress. She was in The Girl Next Door. She was in 24. Um, very, uh, very attractive blonde girl that is also a big hockey fan. She might even be Canadian. But I think she's a big hockey fan and is married to a hockey player currently. Right, good call. Yes, Alicia Cuthbert. Right. Yeah, w when I heard she was like dating hockey guys or she likes hockey guys, I was like, that's it. I have no chance. Before I did. And then after that, I was like, no chance. No chance. I don't. I do not have the build of a hockey player, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd be playing hockey. Young Guns. For the Devils, there's Ekblad. We saw his patch auto a second ago. Oh, is she from Calgary? Curtis says she's from Calgary. And she's married to Dion Fanouf. And that he is a caveman, apparently. So what does that say about her then? I guess that's what she's into, I suppose. You met her at a parade? What was the parade for? There's a Vetchkin. Is she nice? Was she nice? I always like to know that. It's always nice to know if, if if celebrities are nice or not. There's Silver Skates, and here's a numbered version of the Silver Skates. 28 out of 99. Nice. Jonathan Tavares for the Rangers. Thomas Olsen. Islanders. The Rangers have a crest. Islanders. That's for Solomon. There's Ryan O'Reilly. Sign of the Times autograph. For the Sabres. Nice one for Buffalo. That goes to Kevin Lynch. And Matt Murray, Sign of the Times. For the Penguins. Nice autograph there for Montgomery. I see. Curtis says they have a big outdoor fun time festival called the Stampede. And there's a parade every year. She was the marshal. Does she still live up there? 
don't know what she's been doing acting wise lately. I feel like I've not seen her in anything. We've got uh, we got on point right here, Braden Point, three seventy seven out of nine ninety nine for the Tampa Bay Lightning. That goes to Josh Philo. Josh having a nice break. And there you have it, folks. Unless there's a bonus auto in here somewhere. That's it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was your SP Authentic break. Let's randomize the names. The top 10 will get one pack each. Let's go over to random.org. Let's get everyone's names from Ben down to Derek. And we'll take out the triple X's for the Vegas team there. I'll improve your odds slightly. All right, let's roll the dice and randomize the list one and a five, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six times. We got Colin, Curtis, Dave, Nino, Josh, Dave, Josh, Ben, Josh, and Dave right there. You'll get one pack each. There you go, folks. That's it. Jaspyshobbyland.com. Check out the main website for more hockey. We'll start to see more hockey on the main site, and we'll break it right here on this channel. This is Joe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.